Limbe, in the southwest region of Cameroon, is one of the country's most popular and oldest cities. To its over 90,000 residents, this is the city of friendship. Created in 1858, its black sandy beaches are a rare attraction to tourists. As it is characteristic of most coastal cities, Limber has her own fair share of natural and man-made hazards. The most critical is the shortage of portable water. Constant flooding and sporadic ocean overflows regularly pollute the few streams and rivers that are the principal source of water for many city dwellers. The health consequences are evident. Waterborne diseases like cholera are all too frequent. We started receiving cholera cases here in the hospital from uh, the 7th of January 2022. Majority of the cases at that time were coming from the West Coast area, the Buncha Itina. Gradually, we started having spotted cases in Limbe until between the, between the 17th to the 22nd of March when we had a surge of uh, cholera cases in Limbe, with the numbers moving from 15, 30, 50 to 100 within a couple of days. Total number of cases, we have 1,287 patients. So we had a total of uh, about 15 deaths in the course of this epidemic as of now. I think there were days that we could receive over 100, 120 patients per day who were coming since it was the cholera treatment center. Amongst these patients, more than 60, 70 percent of them were in severe cases. Market no get toilet. People they are around the beachside here, they they not get place where they, they, they deposit their waste. As toilet, you know, they, they just shit for water, throw the tea for water, or snap for water. Oh, the whole place, so, tap no day, toilet no day. The whole limbe beach, they be a limbe beach, they be for the whole town. No get toilet, no get public tap. Experts have attributed the water shortage in limbe and its environs to uncontrolled human activities and resultant environmental degradation. Every 10 days, we do an alert. And in the alert, we identify the potential climate risk that we may have around the country or in the different agroecological zones of the country. In the health sector, we have a risk of various diseases emerging, including cholera, which you may experience. And you realize that at the beginning of this year, the focus that we made in March clearly indicated that during that period we'll have risk of cholera in the coast line of Cameroon. And we observed this in Boya, Limbe, Douala, and I, and I think somewhere in Krebi. Thanks to the early warning by officials of the National Observatory on Climate Change, Key stakeholders were able to anticipate the cholera outbreak that hit the country in October 2021. When we noticed that uh, there were cases of cholera, we invited the main stakeholder who are the public health personnel and health doctors to see what was the exact situation. And uh, we organized a series of actions. The first one was to adopt uh, protocol treatment. Because uh, when people are sick, 
medical doctors themselves agree on the protocol. The judicious use of this information helped the authorities and population in containing the epidemic that had the potential of going completely out of hand. The personnel, including the doctors, the nurses, the wash team who were in charge of uh, hygiene and sanitation and prevention of infection spread within the CTC, we had to be on our toes almost all the times. Because each time that the patient arrived, they were either vomiting or they are making water too so frequently. Most of them are severe dehydrated. And severe dehydrated means an emergency. So we had to respond very immediately. The contribution of known state stakeholders in the fight against cholera has been significant. Emergency response strategies came from local authorities and development partners. We engaged about 200 volunteers on the ground to make sure that this educates the community on basic hygienic methods or how to handle their water, how to treat their water, because most of the Cases we have at the cholera treatment center in Bota Limbe, most of the cases are um, traced to be of waterborne. So we engaged in tackling these communities to educate and even treat some of the boreholes or wells or give them aqua taps to make sure that these um, community users should also engage with us, the Red Cross to fight the cholera um, epidemic. Together, let's stop cholera. So um, what we did at, at, at that point as at, for uh, the team that we had uh, already prepared on ground, that is the emergency response team, we deployed the HR, our human resources, and other technical persons to immediately um, move to these locations. First of all, to identify community volunteers, identify community head workers who will be um, responsible for carrying out um, community uh, health sensitization, ensuring that uh, the population is fully aware of the situation, what is happening, and also to educate them on preventive measures that they need to put in place, while we continue to solicit for more funds to see how we could uh, uh, respond. The people of Limbe and other towns of the southwest region, like Boya, are gradually joining the fight against cholera, especially with the resurgence. Nous sommes sur le terrain après la pandémie euh, que du choléra qui sévit dans l'arrondissement et principalement à Maï 16 qui est le premier foyer détecté. Euh, nous avons voulu toucher du doigt la réalité et les vraies causes de cette situation qui ne fait que perdurer. Nous sommes allés au niveau du centre de santé, ils nous ont fait le point sur la situation, mais ils nous ont indiqué aussi pourquoi est-ce que la situation perdure. C'est pour ça que nous sommes venus au niveau de la source d'eau. Nous sommes nous avons vu comment euh, euh, cette source d'eau qui quoique euh, aménagée, elle n'est pas totalement euh, sécurisée parce que il y a Des activités, il y a des salités un peu partout. L'hygiène et salubrité doit être améliorée. Il y a de l'incivisme. Overall, cleanliness and protection of water sources from all sorts of contamination are critical in the effort to win the fight against cholera. To prevent cholera, we need to drink clean water, we go to the toilet, we need to wash our hands, we need to use clean water to cook, we need to carry water from clean streams, avoid dirty water and dirty environment. Water come up for, for rain, we take them, we keep drink, we you know what go take and water. That kind of water is not fine for keep drink. You have to take care of yourself, wash your hands before eating and keep your environment clean. The government has to do more, have to create more taps, more boreholes, so that um, uh, people have had to get clean water to, to drink and it will eradicate the cholera that's disturbing 
the southwest at this moment. Early warning systems in place to deal with such sudden or slow setting disasters are already leading the way. So we make a summary that we send to community radios that are in partnership with the National Observatory, but there are quite few of them. And CRTV as well receives this information. And usually they announced it at the beginning of uh, 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 when we publish and, uh, and, and validate them, which we want to take this opportunity to appreciate uh, the support we have been receiving from the Director General of CRTV, because every time the, the alerts, even through CRTV, some of the other private uh, TV stations receive our information. But uh, an inventory of the local radios that we have in Cameroon shows that we have almost close to 240. And if we are working with just 40, you realize that we still need to cover 200. However, forecasts which provide greater precision and exactitude about the sport and are would be more beneficial. This requires the necessary means, the necessary materials, the necessary technology, which should be put in place to be able to solve this problem of uh, uh, risks that are identified, but not things are only done when the risks are so called. Yes, and I think it can only be our plea This is what the once bustling beaches of Limbe look like today. The government has suspended all activities in the hope of avoiding any further spread of this highly contagious disease. Uh, when you go to eat now, particularly those coastal areas, the ears themselves in the sand, the bank of sand. And it is a reality. And uh, in such environment, you can be sure that uh, it becomes a vicious circle. Right? The disease is returning. This is water. Yet, the people of Limbe yearn for portable water.